Hello everyone, welcome back to Relic Hunter Zero. Let's play an adventure on... Um... Equally worthless with all guns, get some more bounty. Equally worthless with all guns. That sounds encouraging. Um... Let's... No, I don't wanna do Pinky again. He's pretty good. Jimmy... Raph... Let's do adventure as Pummy. There's Jimmy, there's Pinky, Raph, Ryu. And I guess there's gonna be Ace? Or, no, how's he called? R Red? Ace is the donkey, so... Red? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I can't remember what he's called, but we still need to unlock him, I don't know how. Uh, definitely need... Maximum health. No! Yes. What? That was already... Um, it doesn't give me extra health? I don't know. You know, for stage clear. I don't need the alcoholic carrot. Take extra shield. Because that's gonna protect our HP better. And what secondary weapon do we take? I think for now I'm gonna take the assault pistol. Overshield, yes! 190 shield already. We still have 80 HP, which is next to nothing. Especially compared to the last BU run, where we had like 560. Super shield, uh, I shouldn't have taken it yet. That, like, miraculously, that actually worked. We still have our shield active as well. I mean, sure, we we better have, have it available still. But, um... You know, it's, it's, it's going okay. Later on, when enemies get stronger, um... The shield is probably... A little bit more in danger than it is right now. And once the shield drops, like, we are so vulnerable. We are so susceptible to dying once that shield drops. So all we gotta do is try and not let it drop. <laughs> Which means don't get it too much. We Obviously 190... Shield does give you a fair bit of tolerance. However, once that uh, once the, the shield is gone, the, the tolerance is over. one. I don't know why I dashed for that bounty, for that, you know, 10 bounty. It, it's really not worth that much at this point. Throw one of these in here, kill three. do 50 damage with that melee attack? 
Everybody else does like 100 or 150 or so. So yeah, Pani is not a melee um, oriented character at all. I don't know if Pani is like male or female. Can't even destroy that thing in one hit. I was like, excuse me, does that not work or... I just didn't do enough damage. Why did he take so many shots to kill? It was just a regular old little duck. Okay, be careful now. Don't lose the shield. Good. Good. I had to take the flamethrower out here. It, it was just... It would have been bad if I didn't take the flamethrower there. Don't need the super shield now. Because I don't think it carries over to the next stage. Or to the next level. Uh, throw one of those. Good. are real motherfuckers. Especially with their SMGs. ammo for my assault pistol which is pretty much the only weapon I am using uh, it is this was 2.2 wasn't it yeah it was do I take this I have even less ammo for the for the heavy pistol than for the assault pistol Yeah, I do think the DSL pistol is a better choice here. Good. Take some of this. Take that one. He's still alive though. No, not not anymore. Okay. Good shit. Hmm. No, I don't think I take that. Could have taken it at the start, so but I chose the Salt pistol instead. Oh man, that was bad. Good. Um, how much ammo does this hold? 300? 200? 200, okay. Take another bomb. Don't need health. We still have our. Uh, we still get the bonus from our overshield, so that's good. Yeah, I really can't activate these in a single melee hit. Take all of this. Don't need health. 
Um, another overshield. It's gonna put it as it's gonna put us at 220 shield. Take some more light ammo because we need it. Okay, he did get hit by that grenade. Maybe I take this now. The submachine gun. The SMG. The fire rate. Okay, I guess Pony is skilled with ranged weapons, which only makes sense, because otherwise she doesn't have any real strength, except for a good shield, I guess. But, um, that's not enough. But, I feel like the fire rate on, on the SMG is higher when you're playing Pony than with any other character. I don't know if she does more damage with it too, but... Why don't I just use the flamethrower here? Because I want to save it. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need it on the fourth stage. But yeah, the fire rate is crazy with that thing. We still got enemies left somewhere? Oh yeah, over there. Good. Oh, now we set. This one because it's full. Oh, now they have machine guns. Maybe I want those, but maybe I don't because I already have the flamethrower that uses heavy ammo. And if I use two weapons of the same ammo type, then I'm basically cannibalizing. When I'm using one of them, I, I'm cannibalizing the usage of the other one. I need to kill this guy. Thank you. take one of these though because I just think it's it's gonna be the better idea because it just does more damage than the SMG we are not accurate with this thing though so I'm gonna grab the SMG back I don't know how accurate we are with this but I mean, I haven't paid much attention to it, but uh, it felt okay. I don't know why that grenade went so far. Out of ammo! Hmm, that was 3-3 though, so... Uh, 
I guess we're taking the machine gun. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it, I saw it coming. Oh no. That happened so fast. It was going so well, and then on the first level of the fourth stage, well, it all ended very quickly. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Relic Hunter Zero. Leave a like or a comment if you did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.